First a small fire, then a massive explosion and a tower of orange smoke. All clues to the trained eye that the blast in Beirut could have been triggered by ammonium nitrate. So when I saw the explosion on TV, I could see that the plume of smoke was this bright orange colour. Uh, so that colour is characteristic of nitrogen dioxide, which ammonium nitrate explosions do make. Uh, so that was an indicator that it probably was an ammonium nitrate explosion. Ammonium nitrate is a common industrial chemical used mainly for fertilisers because it's a good source of nitrogen for plants. It's also one of the main components in explosives used in mining, but it's not explosive on its own. It's actually quite difficult to make the ammonium nitrate explode. Uh, you either need another explosion to go off and cause a detonation, or you need a really intense fire to set it off. Um, and then once that happens, it will make the ammonium nitrate decompose into uh, this cloud of gases that then expands explosively. Because of its low cost and ready availability as a fertiliser, ammonium nitrate has often been used by terrorists. It was a bomb component in the 1995 Oklahoma City attack, which killed 168 people. While the chemical by itself is not regarded as particularly volatile or dangerous, the extensive damage caused in Beirut proves under certain conditions it can be deadly. That's why most countries have strict regulations controlling its storage. It's unlikely the way it was being warehoused on this occasion was legal. Sarah Morris, TRT World.